While a well-tuned and well-sharpened plane can often and does often leave a perfect surface ready for finish, there are times when the plane leaves a surface that needs a little bit more work. Rather than uh, resort to sandpaper, which can fuzz up the grain and uh, actually muddy up the surface of the wood, uh, the, the scraper becomes a woodworker's good friend. So, but I have one news flash before we get any farther into this, and that uh, the, the scraper that is so common, this is a uh, standard bench card scraper, uh, used, with, used by hand, it, uh, it almost always employs a hook that's been rolled along one edge using a burnisher. If there is indeed a hook on a scraper, it's no longer really a scraper. Let me explain. We have a scraper. I'm going to draw this really big. That's the bottom edge of the scraper. When we roll the hook, which I'll show you in just a minute, we're rolling a little, forming a little piece of metal that goes out like that. This becomes a very small plane blade. It's a shearing action. What happens is, as it shears the, uh, the, the wood fibers, they're forced against this, what becomes a very radical, very vertical chip breaker, essentially. And, it, and the wood fibers are just smashed into it, which is why you get those really lacy, crumbly shavings when you're using a scraper that has a hook. It is possible, however, in some very difficult woods, that the little blade extension, like a little plane blade, will cause some tear out and the surface won't be exactly what you want. It'll drive you nuts. So the solution to that is to reduce the size of this smaller and smaller with, by using less and less pressure as you'll see or eliminate it entirely and just true scraping is with a square edge that is being held uh, leaning forward at an angle to the wood. This by the way is traveling this direction. So, um, so that would then be a true scraping blade uh, and if all else fails and you can't get a good surface, this will deliver that. It will, however, since it's compressing those wood fibers a lot before it scrapes them off brutally, um, it will leave a dull matte finish on the wood. It won't leave the nice shiny satiny surface that you can get with a plane blade, a, shearing, a more shearing action of, of cut. So uh, just be aware of that. It'll be smooth and flat, but it won't have the shine that you might expect from, from a shearing action. So we take this, we start by making this whole thing, uh, as, make these as sharp and square and 90 degrees as possible. Uh, I like to just simply use a file. There are a number of uh, gizmos and gadgets. Uh, as with all other aspects of sharpening, you can have lots of different ways to get there. Uh, these are just some examples of things that hold the file at a certain angle so that you can then uh, file the edge square uh, against that. Uh, this is an actual burnisher that has a variable pitch thing that you can dial in and then just run the blade through it. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it by hand. So to, to dress this edge at 90 degrees, I've made a very simple file holder. It's just a saw kerf that happens to match this, the thickness of the file. It's in there. Um, get in there. Uh, it's not super tight in there. It doesn't have to be. The main goal here is not to hold the file securely. It's to hold the file at the right angle. So I can uh, abut the file with the scraper blade using the wood as a uh, fence. So I do this. I file. Uh, it looks like I've hit it all. It doesn't take much, usually. You can also use an oil stone. Uh, I don't recommend a water stone for the same reasons. If you do use your water stones, flip it up on edge so that you're using the edge of the water stone so that if you do leave a groove, and you probably will, it won't affect the flat surface of your stone. But you can also, if you can hold this, or you can use some sort of a fence and, and use that to, uh, to prepare that edge all square. So you won't be able to see it on the camera, but there is now a nice, smooth, uniform, sharp uh, edge. Not, not sharp as a blade sharp, but sharp in that the corners are crisp and 90 degrees. So we're going to secure it in the vise. This is a burnisher. A bur the burnisher's main job is to simply be harder than the steel that's the, that the scraper is made out of. Uh, this is one of our burnishers, Hawk Tools. Uh, we harden these to a Rockwell of C64, which is about the same as a file. Uh, we, when we call it out to the heat treater, we ask them to make them uh, uh, RC64 plus parentheses minimum draw 
So all steel has to be tempered to some degree. We ask that these be tempered to the absolute minimum, and they're happy to do that for us. We're going to use this. We're going to draw it across this edge uh, to actually force a small amount of metal to flow out into a sharp cutting edge. Uh, don't do it dry. We can use a little bit of oil from our oil stone, uh, a squirt of WD-40. Uh, some people even will just rub it on the side of their nose to just add something so that there's, there's not just bare metal against metal. The traditional angle, and you can adjust this for uh, as needed for different conditions about that tear out issue and things like that. Uh, I like to use about a 15 degree angle. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure. People think you have to really lean on it and you really don't. I've heard someone say that it takes as much pressure as buttering toast, but I think it makes a little bit more than that. But I'm not pushing very hard at all. Maybe more like spreading peanut butter on toast. And I can feel it. There is now a small hook on this side. I'm going to go ahead and save myself some time later and roll the same hook on the other side. So I'm tilting the other direction. And I'm hoping that's about 15 degrees. And I can, you can hear me catch on there. So we have a burr on this side, and we're going to try it out. And you can see that the shavings are so different from a plain blade shaving, uh, in, and that's because they're being crushed uh, immediately upon being cut. So it's really just that simple. I've seen more complicated instructions that involve uh, far more steps, but this is working, I'm happy with it, and it was really just that simple.